Let's start by dividing America into five equal groups. Each one represents 20% of the people. In a perfect equal society, everyone would have the same amount of money. But this is what America actually looks like. The first 20% group, the poorest, holds 5% of the national income, and the top 20% holds 52% of the national income. If we take the top 1% of the last group, it would look like this. Their average income is over $2 million a year. What this guy makes in one year would take years for someone in the first group. Again, let's take a perfect society, but instead dividing America in five groups, let's divide all over 300 million Americans in 100 representative households. What we see is a perfect equal society where everyone has the same amount of income. This wouldn't work. We need a system that motivates people to work hard and live good lives. Something more like this. Teachers, lawyers, plumbers, CEOs, everyone. This would be the ideal. This is a nice distribution of income. But this is the reality of the distribution. It blows my mind. 20% of the households are so high, have so much income, that they make this scene look like science fiction. And let's not forget about this guy, the ruler, the king. He lives in the sky where no one can see him. But reality is not static. People can work hard to achieve the American dream. A plumber can get a degree and become a teacher, maybe a professor and then even a lawyer. Maybe after a while even start his own firm. This is the American dream. It's about economic mobility. People moving up and down, up and down the economic ladder. This is the reality. Only in the middle, there's a lot of mobility. This is what the richest group looks like. This is what the poorest group looks like. There is almost no economic mobility. Economic mobility in America. We have big problems and we need big solutions.